sad when mistreatment and abuse and neglect and murder against Indian people becomes common. This is where it started, and this is where it's going to end. It's a good day to die. When you abuse people so long that the only thing that they can turn to is confrontational politics, they're going to do that. Just as sure as uh, this sun that comes up and goes down. I'd see in the news about people protesting against the war and the civil rights marches of half a million people in Washington, D.C. But no one was speaking for Native people. A lot of people got together and decided that they were going to march. We're going to get in their face. We're going to march on the police department, the courts. We're going to march on the public school system. What is the sacrifice that, that we Native Americans have made? We can't tell it in, in, by the amount of land that they've taken from us. We can't tell it by the massacres that they've committed. But the totality of all of it, that's where the pain is. A good day to die doesn't mean we want to kill you. It's, it's a good day for people to stand up for what they believe in. And if you have to be killed in the process, it's still something that's worthwhile. Well, I'm proud that we didn't, that we didn't collapse in the, in, in the, face, of the face of the enemy. And I think that's, that's nothing more I can say about, about you know, what, what AIM is about. I don't think AIM is about laurels. I don't think it's about uh, recognition. I don't think it's about medals and honors and awards or certificates. It's just about being there. I believe that the character of the Native people is is, is, um, is so strong that that no matter no matter what obstacle is in front of us, that we'll overcome that obstacle. We need, we must do this. We've got to bring our culture with us, no matter what what century we live in. You know, I, I've heard comments about, well, Banks, you're not a player anymore, and I. I, I never was, I didn't come into this world to be a player. I came into this world to be a human being. And when they start equating me as a player to this or that, then they, they misunderstood the whole meaning of struggle. They don't know what struggle is then. You know, this is not a game where they say I'm, I'm not a player anymore. Life is a very serious event. I will never be through in, in the struggle. They should never write me out of that picture. to get back. We're not going to ask Congress, we're not going to ask the White House or any agency or any grant money at all. We're going to, we're going to go back the way we came uh, by the goodness of the people. And I want to say that um, the people out there were very generous. They're extremely generous. Uh, we arrive sometimes late at night and they will have been waiting for us six, seven hours. But they did wait. And they provided us with food, 
lots of food. And then as we began to cross the country, truck drivers were stopping, people were stopping and offering us cases and cases of water. So there, I know, I know from, from that beginning, from, from the very fact that they did that, I know that the, that the people in America are still good. There's still goodness in our people. No matter what this government does, what they commit themselves to do, engaging us in this war or that war, or, there are still some good people in this country. Now, we crossed 35 native reservations, 35 people, I mean 35 reservations from California, Arizona, New Mexico, Oklahoma, uh, Louisiana, uh, also in, uh, they're, we, they're, they're not state, federal recognized, but state recognized in Alabama, uh, also in uh, North Carolina, Virginia. We met people who were doctors, physicians, lawyers, congressmen, mayors, governors. It was a great walk. felt good for me to be there, but it felt better because of what I was seeing. And I've seen gatherings over the years, but this was a gathering that had, oh, it, it was going, it was, had a different purpose. They were bringing their tribal flags. Uh, during the first uh, two or three weeks, I, I saw the uh, one, one flag go up. I, I sensed a, 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 a much stronger nation, a much stronger nationhood uh, forming. And that, this is what I, I, I felt was, was beautiful. I have not seen this kind of gathering uh, and bringing in support. I have never seen it in my entire life. Wounded knee was one kind of action uh, but it, it, it was nothing in terms of, of, of people coming together. And every weekend I'd, I'd, I'd come back and then I'd see five more flags, 10 more flags, 20 more flags, 100 flags, and the, the, the community building. And, and I would say within the sixth or seventh week, it was no longer an encampment, it was a community. We had about 4,000 people there, mm -hmm. uh, but it reached a, a peak by, uh, by uh, Labor Day weekend of 10,000 people. Just seeing all of this develop, it, it made me feel that we needed, we needed Standing Rock. And the American Indian Movement needed it.
why didn't this happen mm -hmm. years ago? Why, why didn't we as Native people band together before like this? But it seems to me that need was needed U.S.-wide. What does this land mean to you, this traditional land? This land means everything. Look at over there, all the buffalo. Look at all those buffalo. Look at all those buffalo there. Two treaties, that. yeah, that, that come into play. One is, is the 1851 treaty, uh, Fort Laramie Treaty, and the, and the other one is the 1868 treaty. Um, and so they both, uh, they both are, 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 both signatories of the of the U.S. government are on it. Plus the chiefs, Red Cloud signatures on, on mm -hmm. them, and saying that uh, that, the, that our land will be never be disturbed. As a matter of fact, that was one of the. Uh, statements that the that the in the early in making the the, the, the U.S. government the the lands and the properties of Native people will never be be disturbed. The history of the of, of putting us on land that what they thought was no value to the land, and uh, and suddenly you know in many places there's the, there's natural resources. Uh, the, in, in our territory, it's, it's the timber, huge resources, huge amount of land for, and in our reservation, which was 60 miles by 40 miles deep, um, the state of Minnesota and the U.S. government uh, working together, they took half of our reservation and declared and declared it uh, as uh, uh, the Chippewa National Forest. At first, it was called Minnesota National Forest, but there was there was a they wanted to change it, so they changed it to Chippewa National Forest, as if we Chippewas had some. Mm. This was part of our national forest, but it's not. Find find the riches. Find the resources, and you'll find change of change of, of of the of the policy between the government and the native people. Change the change the understanding. Change the the, the target. And so, every place is filled with uh, gold. Find gold on the reservations. Find oil on the reservations. Change change the language of the treaties. Change change the treaties. Make a new treaty. And that's what they did. I don't. I don't think they want us to 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 be part of the, the of the of the meanness of, of the United States. <clears throat> that's what it is. They're very mean. Their history has been. They, they've been mean to us, and they, they've hurt us. Um, and I don't think they want that shown forever. But as long as I'm alive, I'm gonna. Sh I'm going to say this is what happened in 1890. This is what happened in 1864 at Sand Creek Massacre. And time and time again, there's been pain and hurt. three days, and already I miss him. A very well-respected elder. You know, he always uh, championed a lot of Native, Native American issues as well as all, all, all races and all tribal people. He was there 
always standing up for the rights of the people. Dennis is a very spiritual man. And uh, a lot of Native peoples are being reacquainted with the old ways. He taught us many things to be proud of our heritage. And we want to carry on those teachings. This is one of the qualities that he had is to be able to bring people together in, in a peaceful manner to seek justice and to seek the truth. And this is the legacy that Dennis Banks is leaving.